Sawyer, I know. You're angry with me. It's not easy being fired. You did me a favor, Mr. Marsh. It may not have been easy, but I got the message loud and clear. Go back to where you came from, Miss Peggy Sawyer, and that's just what I'm going to do. Listen, Sawyer, I'm here to apologize and ask you to come back. I have a train to catch, Mr. Marsh. And take over Dorothy Brock's role in Pretty Lady. Her ankle's broken. She's out of the show. The part's yours, if you'll take me. I'm sorry, Mr. Marsh. Show business isn't for me. I'm going back to Allentown. What was that word you just said? Allentown? I'm offering you the chance to star in the greatest musical Broadway scene in 20 years. And you say, Allentown? <laughs> now listen to me, Sawyer, and listen good. Even if you don't give a damn about me, think about all those kids you'll be putting out of work if you don't come back here and do this. Think of the songs that will wither and die if you don't get up there and sing them. Think of the scenery that'll never be seen. The costumes never worn. The orchestrations never heard. Think of Pretty Lady and the pleasure and thrill it'll bring to millions. Think of musical comedy. The most glorious words in the English language. Sawyer, think of Broadway, damn it. Come on along and listen to the lullaby of Broadway. The hip hooray and ballyhoo. The lullaby of Broadway. The rumble of a subway train. The rattle of a taxi. The daffodils who Come on along and listen to the lullaby. 